Hey, what's going on guys? Skomakikins here. In this video, we're going to be implementing our rollout method, which is intended to make a self-play until either a winning result or, uh, or a drawn result. And the most exciting part uh, regarding the rollout part of the Monte Carlo research algorithm is that uh, the moves that would be actually made on board would be picked up completely randomly and that's that's the core gist of this Monte Carlo research algorithm basically. So without further ado let's actually start writing some code and before that I just want to mention that uh, if in the previous two videos we couldn't really there, there wasn't really that much of of to test but uh, here uh, we will actually test this rollout stuff and watch how uh, how, how our, our algorithm is actually making this moves uh, randomly for each site until it reaches the uh, ends the terminal state of the game. So without further ado, let's actually start. So here in the rollout, we need to make random moves for both sides until terminal state of the game is reached. So uh, we can simply say while not and board dot is win. And please know that we're not saying like a not board is win or not bo board is draw because we need to return one for player x, uh, two, uh, we, we need to return one uh, for player x, minus one for player o or not, and zero for a draw. So that's quite, quite important thing to consider. So here uh, we just want to try to make, try to make a move. Uh, so try, and here, uh, let's say, mm, no, no, no moves available like this. No moves available, but assuming that uh, we are within this loop where uh, it's not a win, so we can get uh, to this part only in case if this is a draw. So accept, accept, and here we want to return a draw score. So return zero. Okay, and here, if a board dot player two equals to x, we return my, uh, we return one, and elif board dot player two is equal to not, we return minus one. So here uh, return score from the player x perspective. Yeah. Okay, so now let's actually try this out. And if we just get back to our tic tac toe pi file and scroll to the very bottom of it, uh, I don't really need all this stuff anymore. So we just can simply get rid of this. And if we just open the terminal in the current working directory and type python3 tic tac toe pi. Uh, okay, excuse me, return node. It's a bit. A bit tricky. Line nine. Oh, it's probably hold on a sec. Yeah, in more the Carol Tree Search, line eighty. So what's wrong there? Oh, it's just the wrong indentation, I guess. Okay. Uh, and where is the accept block? Line 115. 
Oh, because I didn't do anything within the try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> obviously, I forgot to make uh, make the move on board. Obviously, it's the the main the main thing to consider basically. So board would be equal to a random choice and board dot generate states. Okay, so now it should be working. Yeah, perfect. So let's actually try to create Monte Carlo tree search instance. So mcds equals to mcds like this. So creating an instance. And now we already have this board instance being created. So let's simply try to call Monte Carlo tree search dot rollout and pass in the board as an argument. So here we want to simulate a random game. Okay, so it's working, good. And now just to have some sort of an idea of what's going on there, I want to print the board. And also I want to get the user input to interrupt the, the, the execution just to see what's going on. Okay, so here is the random, the random move being played. Okay. Okay, and we end up here because uh, the winning state of the game has been reached, just, just like I've been mentioning, so that's it. Okay, now the winning state. So uh, I'm interested to see the draw. Okay, so this is the draw. Okay, and this is what we got. Okay, so, well, probably the very last task, just to make sure that everything is working correctly. Uh, I want to make sure, just just make a little assert here. So I want to make sure that um, board state is win here. So print, uh, let's say win state. So just just to check myself here and board dot is win. Okay. And I don't want to print this. Well, uh, I can actually yeah, just get rid of the input. And here I want to print uh, game drawn. Okay. Uh, oh, well, let's actually just to make 100% sure. Let's say draw state and board is draw. Okay, so it should be printing the boards along the way. Okay, okay, so something is going a bit wrong here. Hold on. Hold on a sec. Oh, it's it's it says draw true. Okay, draw is true. Okay. This is draw. Okay. Win state true. Okay. So this is the win state. Okay. Again. Win state. Okay. Win state. Win state. Win state. Is this the win state? Yeah. This is the win state. Okay, and also, yeah, win state, win state, win state, win state. So, so I'm gonna make a draw one day. Yes, most likely it's winning. Well, but, but there was a draw, I remember there was a draw there. Okay, anyway, that doesn't really matter that much. The, the very last thing I want to make sure regarding this stuff, uh, I just want to. So it doesn't return anything, right? Uh, I mean, it, it only returns the score. So let's actually print the eventual board position here. Okay, let's not deal with this draw stuff. And I also want I also want to print uh, score. So print game result and score and well actually 
this would be the score, right? And I want to print this score. Okay, so score is equal to 1 because we have x winning the game, which is correct. Now not is winning the game, score is minus 1, which is correct. And okay, now score is equal to 0, but it doesn't print the board. So yeah, I would probably also like to print the board when the game is drawn. So print board here just to triple check anything okay so score one good score one score minus one not is winning okay score zero and this is the drawn position okay so score zero the position is drawn yeah it seems to be absolutely correct well okay guys so this is it regarding the rollouts so i don't know how you personally uh, how you find this but i find this rollouts to be the the, the most fun part of the entire Monte Carlo tree search algorithm. I don't know. I just, I just, I just really like it. It's so cute. So, uh, so just made sure to remove all the uh, all the print board statements. And I'm just hold on a sec. I'm just wondering. Board is actually board changing here. It shouldn't be. Yeah, it shouldn't be. Yeah, that's that's correct. So the very last thing basically left uh, regarding the Monica Old Research Algorithm implementation is the back propagation part, but that's quite pretty trivial. It's just a couple lines of code. Uh, but uh, I will leave this. I will still. I will leave this to, to the next video. And after completing the back propagation, after complete, completing this back propagate uh, method, which again like just couple of lines of code, the matter of couple of, li couple of lines of code here, we'll then try to actually test our entire Monte Carlo tree search algorithm via giving a real position and asking uh, to find the best move for that position. And well, probably we'll even try to make computer play versus itself. I think that would be fun. And then when the result is, if the result is satisfying, if there is, if there are no nasty bugs along the way, then uh, eventually we will embed this computer player to our game loop. So we would be able to play versus AI powered by Monte Carlo Research Reinforcement Learning Algorithm. Well, okay guys, so this is it from my side. Uh, I, hope to, to, uh, I hope to see you in the next tutorial in this tic-tac-toe with Monaco research algorithm tutorial series until that time and take care